I'll kick off the recording. And How's everybody's day been? Productive? Useful? Actually, yeah. Positivity, I like it. I like it. <laughs> um, so, is any, can anybody volunteer to do the uh, the note taking and the summarization at the end of the call? That would be fantastic. Everyone jumps to the leaps to that particular request. I see. What happens when no Daniel's here? Eh? No, nobody takes it up. Okay, Tyler. Just to support you, I'll be on that. Thanks. Back. Thanks. I can't, I can't do three things at once. I can barely do one, all right? <laughs> but you owe me. You definitely owe me. All right. I, I'll, 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 I'll buy you a beer or something at some point. Um, so, it's got notes done. Right, Arta's not feeling so great today. If you don't know if you saw, he's, um, he's not been feeling very well for a few days. He's been kind of putting it off and ignoring it. Um, he's put a notice up on general... He's going to have a day off, basically. Deserves it. We all do sometimes. We all have to have time off. We have to look after his body and his mind. Um, and it's just kind of, it made me think that um, we need to remember to check in on his mental and physical health. It is important, especially in a world that's crazy as it is right now. It's just uh, important to check in. So I'm going to try and institute some sort of systems where, you know, maybe not every day, but we'll check in. And if people are not feeling up to talking or they're not feeling in a good place, it gives an opportunity to respond to something rather than having to feel like they have to reach out, even if it's just, I'm not feeling great today, or I'm feeling tired, or I'm feeling overwhelmed, or I'm feeling overworked. All of these things are fine. Nobody's going to tell you off. We're all, we're all here to support each other as well, because we're, you know, we're all living through this chaos together in some ways or another. Um, regards to coordinators, uh, the podcast is out, coordinators and communication. The podcast is officially out. Um, Daniel announced earlier on that he's about a fruitful conversation with a company called Cultura, which is he's looking at as Cultura? a Cultura, yeah, yeah, right. Which is looking at as like a, a Zoom replacement plus other media add-on support systems, especially around the question that um, there's some uh, there might be some might be some problems with some of the Corona Corona Y people um, and Zoom security problems or security issues. So it's a it's it's an option that we need to start really taking seriously. Um, we've, we had a call about the submission webinar and we need to try and work out, we've tried to, we've worked out that we need to, we're going to have a smaller pool of people rather than just randomly inviting the thousands of people who we've got, we've scraped off of all the papers because it just seems like a very unproductive way of inviting people and uh, not very transparent. So we're kind of leaning towards finding the hubs and the interesting interesting bodies that would be interested in finding out what we've been producing and creating. And ideally, if we can have someone from each team put forward, you know, a 10 sort of seven or eight, 10 minute um, piece on what they've created, what they've done and, and the work that was involved in it. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Anson's created a cool little link collector for his data management and uh, knowledge knowledge propagation. It should screw, it should basically pick up links and store them in a in a in a spreadsheet. So we should we should be and it should, I think it's tagged per channel. So if we're starting to lose things or if you know if we're starting to lose links because it's honestly we all open that many and share that many things, it's really easy to lose. So we're going to be trying to concentrate on like maintaining and and and, and retaining information rather than getting it, having to scroll through pages and pages of conversation to find a link. So that should hopefully help everyone. Um, and now we're on to team reporting. As per usual, the high level progress. So quick summary of what you've been doing, um, how far away from results you are or how, how much progress you're making and any blockers and what you might need help with. And we'll start with Maya because why not? Uh, oh, first of, of all, I love this dog on the background. That's lovely. Your dog is so cute. Yeah, I was going to say There's two of them running around. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I'll introduce, I'll, I'll take pictures for you guys at some point. Please. Yeah. We'll, make a, then, we'll make a pets channel or something. Um, we kind of um, understand, like, uh, we've spoken uh, with the 
uh, kind of very experienced people from an industry. And we understand that some uh, basic knowledge graph uh, is absolutely mandatory in order to build some kind of a systematic approach to avoid uh, number one, uh, like kind of type one and type two mistakes, which are or we are missing papers or we include papers that are completely irrelevant. So one step to get closer to that is to actually uh, work with uh, a systematic work with uh, uh, medical uh, dictionaries and uh, interrelations and ontology between the terms in order to be um, able to kind of build some uh, stable system that search uh, can be based on. Uh, and while probably the search engine team does the same work, they are less focused on the risk factors. While our primary focus, yeah, this is a lovely creature. <laughs> while our focus is risk factors. So we will probably kind of, you know, uh, do some overlapping at this stage. Uh, but uh, as we target exactly another problem, we expect some very specific results on that, that we plan to use an, as an input for a search engine team. Uh, so we had a call, we discussed it, and that's what we are planning to do uh, for the next few days. And my personal kind of, you know, endless thank to Slava Tikhanov, who is an incredible professional in that and who really helps me and navigates me uh, through, uh, through the task. Well, I'm assuming because it's all theoretical right now, there's no blockers, you're okay for everything? Oh, we are fine at the moment, exactly, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean you're full of blockers, but nothing started, so it's fine to, yeah, there's no, there's no progress because there's no progress because you're theorizing. Progress. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, there's, there's no, um, okay, transmission with Christine. Hi. Um, yeah, so we uh, started to have some conversations with uh, different people and then just started to get uh, our head around what we want to do in round two. And we're going to have a kickoff meeting after the daily call. If you're interested, please jump in. <laughs> and so, yeah, I think also I uh, had some uh, interesting conversation with uh, some people like Rose Glavin. Uh, basically, we're talking about so far, we're focusing on the papers that we are provided, but sometimes uh, it's also important to kind of validate what we find with um, real world data. Uh, for example, if we found something that's really a high important risk factor for uh, fatality, for example, but what if this, the fatality doesn't really differ that much in this population with, with or without COVID, then it's, you know, just like to kind of, it's important to bring in some context to uh, what we're doing. Christine, yeah. I'm really sorry to interrupt you, but have you thought about this, like, kind of uh, holistic approach, kind of about uh, creating knowledge graph, interdependencies, ontology, and then kind of Go back right, I think work. that's important. Yeah, uh, that's just what I'm saying. I like, just pretty. I just uh, kind of sharing ideas with everyone. Um, yeah, I think it's it's important to have a more like holistic approach to it. I, yeah, I have a, like a very strong feeling after talking with like few quite a few separate specialists that if we like kind of skip this um, crucial stage, okay we will find ourselves uh, facing a lot of biases. I, I, I don't impose anything like, an, uh, I, I'm not an expert. I cannot really strongly advise on anything, but like I, I, I kind of think that probably if you want to discuss that with me or I can direct you uh, to guys who kind of have an expertise in that, that might be helpful. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Sure it's all about though, sharing. Right? I... 
all about sharing and directing and helping each other. So yeah, you guys can definitely, sounds like you can have a really interesting discussion there to expand on the things you've found already, Maya, that might be able to help Christine's team to be able to expand the whole process of it. Is that, um, Christine, have you got any blockers or any process, or do you want to carry and finish your, finish your say? Um, we, yeah, not yet. <laughs> That's, I didn't anticipate any blockers because we're still like, every, I think all teams are taking at least like um, most of a week to sort of really formulate and think because, you know, right. we went from we went from like a two week standing start to something to, from nothing to something. Now we've got a little bit of time to process, formulate, think, plan, and actually refine the processes we've, we've learned from each other and what we've done. So I don't think it's a bad thing to sort of take a moment, work out what's good, what's not, what worked, what didn't. And that's, only, that's the only way we're going to get better. We're all about learning lessons at the end of the day. Um, so we'll move on to VT with Dan Sosa. Vaccines six. Is Dan hey around? Everybody. Yeah, I'm here. Hey. Um, we continue to brainstorm. We had a brainstorming meeting yesterday. We had one this morning. Um, we have a list of projects that people submitted. Mostly they're related to drugs. Uh, we haven't had that many vaccine ideas. And uh, we're gonna, you know, probably vote on the projects we want to pursue. We want to consult with clinical experts and get more feedback from people. Uh, I enjoyed the call last night listening in. It was, uh, it was, it was, it was interesting listening. I do occasionally just turn up in people's calls and don't say anything and just, just listen to what's been talked uh, about. Yeah, I saw you there. Glad to have you. Um, so we're just gonna narrow down, and then we're gonna, you know, organize ourselves and just get going. Hopefully, get all that done by the end of the week. No block. That sounds that sounds great. Nice to hear that we've got we're starting to get some focus. Um, I don't think we've got Brandon about. Have we? Have we got anybody from data sets or an LP? Sorry, Tim Jam guys are, are crucial on the calls actually because there is so much depends on them at the moment. And it is really important to try to and be like. It, it is really important to try and get. I mean, I think part of the reason why um, NLP search engine data sets people are not around is because they're knee deep in work <laughs> and they're just not turning up to talk about it because they're knee deep in work. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm probably going to reach out to them and see if there's yeah, anything they need, do because, anything they need because, because it's, because yeah, it's, it is fundamental to everyone's work pipeline that your data, all of your work is relied on, reliant on data and they're the, not the source of data, but they're the pre-processing. So um, I'll reach out to them a little bit later on and see it's, if, it's not if only anything... processing it's much yeah. more than that it's kind of tasting validation is like at this at oh, yeah, this, this stage this, this if you really kind important. of get serious about that like i think that uh if we try if we kind of try to implement the real approach like all teams are kind of dependent on them absolutely so their their um, integration should be full have we got any from t anyone from Team Geo to talk through anything that they're working on? A little later, well, it's about my. No um, is, any is there is anybody else anybody else got any questions or any uh, any other problems that needs to bring up? Hello, hello. That's Hi, Hibison. Uh, from Team Geo. Uh, Hi, Hibison. <laughs> Hi. Uh, the work uh, the work is progressing. We are having some success between uh, on matching uh, needs to tasks with uh, people available to do the tasks, and uh, we I'm uh, working on trying to organize things yeah. in, in, in Trello. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really enjoying watching your like organization systems start to build up because it's definitely something that once you've kind of got your, your, your feet under the table and work out the best way to do it, I definitely want you to teach other people, other teams to be able to not necessarily do the same thing, but if they can integrate some of your processes to be able to see, because I've seen the like, there's a card for people who have not got anything to do, or you know, it's just I like the little systems where people can check in and go like, I don't know what to do next, and rather than sitting around and going looking for themselves. If they come and ask for help or ask for guidance or direction, it's a nice, it's a nice little system. It's not, it, I just, I'm just enjoying you build them little processes up, and I definitely want to then propagate them out to other teams to be able to utilize them. Obviously, not every team has to use them, but it's just if we can learn the good lessons from each other's strategies and organization, it makes everyone's life easier. I think. Yeah, uh, it's a work in progress, and I, as soon as I, I have something that I consider. 
that might work, I will uh, propagate the, the, the knowledge. Yeah. Okay. I knew, I knew you were experimenting because I get tagged in all sorts of stuff and I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's working, it's doing it. But it's, yeah. it's, it's, it, I mean, it's, my, it's my way of making sure that I'm, I'm keeping up to date and seeing what people are doing because that's literally, I feel like the only role I have is to be able to see from a little bit of a distance what other people are doing and cross pollinate and, and, and say, well, that, seem, that team's doing a really good job with this thing and other people should. If we can experiment and then learn from each other's each other's experiments, we all get a bit better out of it. Okay. Um, I think that's as wrapped up then. Is if there's anybody got any questions or any problems to arise now? Good. Anyway, then that's it. Um. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Too early for that one. Go on, Maya first, then down. Yeah. Um. Uh, that you know that annoying one. Um. Despite that, uh, probably at the moment, we have to do some kind of an overlapping with the search engine team because we have to, meet, to figure out the dictionaries ourselves to get an intuition on that. And we have to figure out anthology to get an intuition on that as well. We will overlap them, but still we want to have kind of a chain that connects us well to what's going on. And um, if we uh, miss this kind of an in, inter intermediary, how do you say it? Like kind of person that stays in the middle, okay? Who understands what's going on with multiple teams and kind of helps in the co coordinations of the efforts probably it's time to really implement this person who has technical knowledge, who has kind of some of the medical background and is capable of coordinating among teams. Otherwise, I doubt that we will be highly uh, efficient altogether. So if, if that is possible to kind of get us, like all of us probably, uh, like I speak for myself, first of all, indeed, but I assume that other teams probably have the same uh, concerns. So that would be lovely. Like, for example, I would have been able to figure out any systematic approach uh, without Slava Tikhanov. He was like kind of light in the dark for me. If we can get a guy like that who can kind of help us to coordinate our effort, that would speed up the process like <coughs> significant, significantly. <laughs> hey, Dom. Sorry, mine's Dom. I was just going to ask what your dog's names are. Uh, that's Loki and Freya. Loki, <whistles> come here. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> uh, this is this is this is lucky. There's a fluff ball. Come here. Oh, wow. And that's Freya over his head down. Wow. Oh, it's so big. Cool. The huge, the ginormous <laughs> dogs. Well, one of them's ginormous, and one of them's medium large, and they're both generators of a massive amount of fluff. Anyways, okay. enough of yeah. that dog time. <laughs> um, thank you very much for your time, everybody. Thanks for turning up. Um, I'll see you guys all tomorrow, probably. Um, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.